In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add new font styles to either Affinity Designer or Affinity Photo. For this demonstration, I'm using Designer, but the process is also the same for Photo. So let's head over to the program. So I've added this piece of text and to change the font style, you simply make sure the text is selected and you go to the top left hand corner and you can see we have the font family and we can click on the down arrow and we can change the font style and so on. So if you did want to add a new font style to this section, you don't actually add it to the Affinity program, you add it to your Windows PC, or if you're using the Apple version, add it to your Mac and so on. So what we need to do is go to a website which offers fonts. So this one is called 1001 free fonts. So we can download thousands of different fonts. So I'm just gonna download this one. So select download, save it to your PC. I'm gonna save this to my download folder. So that's now been downloaded. If I then click on my File Explorer, which is usually on the bottom taskbar, so click on File Explorer on your Windows PC or whatever system you're using, select the folder. So I'm in Downloads, and now you can see that the, the font has been downloaded. So it's usually in a zip folder, so you will need to unzip it. So put your cursor over it and right click on your touchpad or your mouse, and you want to select the Extract All option on your Windows PC and then select Extract. So that's now been extracted. If I just close that window, you can now see there's the zip file and there's the extracted file. So normally you may get multiple different fonts in a single file. So normally these may be like a thin font or a bold font and so on. So you can either highlight both of them or just select one of them. So I'm just gonna select one, make sure selected and then right click on your touchpad on your mouse and this time select Install from the list. So that's now been installed on my Windows 11 PC. So you will need to close and restart this particular program. So I'm just gonna close it. Okay, let's now restart the Affinity Designer. So I'm just going to create a new page. And if I click on the text tool on the left hand side, it then gives me the option to search, search the font. So I'm just going to double check what the name was of that font is. So this is the font I just installed. So let's see if we can find it. As you can tell, I have thousands of fonts on my PC. So there's the font I just installed. So if I click on that, I can now use this font. And as you can see, that's how it looks. Just gonna try and resize it. So that's how the new font looks like. So just remember, if you want to add a new font to this program, you will actually add it to your PC rather than the program itself. So that's it. Thanks for watching.